they told me when you're in the middle of an eclipse, you gotta wear eclipse glasses, and I don't know, these things don't work real good, guys. But hey, I have never seen a total eclipse, and we have one right here in Northeast Ohio. Very exciting. And I didn't know what to do, so I thought, you know what, let's run some firewood, let's run some firewood machines, and uh, maybe I can bring it to you. I'm gonna, I did my research on how to film an eclipse. I got some filters for my camera. I don't know if they work. Uh, if great, if not, then we'll wait for the next one and I'll bring that one to you. We'll, it'll be a much better job. So I'm just gonna run a load of oak. It's mostly gonna be four way and try to get this done. Uh, the eclipse starts at two o'clock and we're getting close. So uh, sit back and let me run some logs and then uh, we'll see what I can bring you here for the total eclipse. 2024. processing wood during a solar eclipse. 
All right, this was quick work. This was all oak. I'm glad to have it done. I wanted to run the Yappa 405 during an eclipse, and now I want to run down here and let's fire up the Eastern Main Axis so we can technically say we made firewood during an eclipse. Here we go. I have changed my hat, <laughs> and we are heading down to the Eastern Main Axis, and we're going to just split a couple logs with that. I didn't really know what to do with an eclipse, you know. I put some thought into it, and I'm not very technologically advanced where I could have multiple cameras going all at the same time and playing everything to you, but I thought, well, let me show you what I got going on here. I have the trailer got loaded this morning for a load that will be going out, and I have the solar panel charging the battery. So we're supposed to be in totality for I think just a little bit over two minutes. Where my hometown is and where this wood yard is, it's not right smack dab in the middle of the totality. It's a little bit towards the southern end of it. Uh, I think like in Cleveland, up towards Lake Erie, they're supposed to get the full three minutes. We're just a little bit over two, but I hope to bring that to you. Now let me get the Easton Made Axis fired up. Let me just get some wood split with it, and we can claim to have ran a world-class log splitter during an eclipse. Here we go. Okay, I got everything accomplished that I wanted to get accomplished. I wanted to be able to say I made firewood with two world-class firewood machines during an eclipse. We have been sweating this day out. Yesterday the weather was perfect, not a cloud in the sky, and the weather reports did not look good for today. They were talking about heavy to moderate cloud cover. We got some helicopters flying over. We're by the air base here in Youngstown, so we get a lot of military planes that fly over. And then a couple hours ago, there wasn't a cloud in the sky. It was very bright. And then, you know, I was kind of excited about that. But now it's starting to cloud up just a little bit, but we can certainly see the sun. It's up there somewhere. Oh, wow. Look, I got a halo around me. So I thought we could just hang out and I'll show this to you. And we are in totality. It is supposed to get dark. They're saying it's going to get, you know, there'll be a 10 degree drop in temperature. Uh, it's supposed to be pretty cool. I recall seeing an eclipse before, but it wasn't total. Uh, but I remember, you know, the lighting and everything it got weird. So here I am, guys. I am looking right, in, <laughs> looking right into the sun. I have my sunglasses on, my prescription sunglasses and my eclipse glasses and right now it looks like pac-man but his mouth is way open wide but we are not quite halfway there i will check in shortly we are about halfway covered right now <laughs> you know you're not supposed to look but you always sneak a peek and i am I am feeling it is a little darker and there's just that little bit of dusk action going on. Hard to explain, but it's definitely started. I'm having a little bit of fun right now. I'm enjoying this. 
here is a view of the sky. I'm trying to avoid the sun with my camera. It's like right up there. But the, co uh, the cloud covers, uh, I'll take it. Compared to what they were claiming we were going to have today, we weren't going to be able to see it at all. But definitely uh, the weather has um, cooperated with this total eclipse 2024. But here I am, guys, watching the eclipse. <laughs> it is definitely, I would say it's halfway, if not a little bit more than halfway right now. And the everything outside just looks a little different. Everything, um, it's getting like it's late in the evening. The temperature is the same, but there's definitely like a, a cloak over top of the, over top of the yard right now. I, I'm starting to feel a temperature change. It's starting to get a little, little bit cooler. And I can hear the neighbor's roosters across the street crowing. They always say that roosters crow during an eclipse. Uh, but they've already started. They're, they're pre-crowing, I guess. All right, so uh, let's uh, keep waiting. We're getting close. Here's something, guys. We are right off a big exit here off the highway and a lot of people have just pulled off the highway and they're in this big parking lot across the street so everyone over there is watching. There you go guys. This is pretty close to what I see with the naked eye. I think in reality it's a little bit thinner, uh, much closer to um going uh to total <laughs> but uh i'm pushing my my solar glasses up against my lens to show this so it's not perfect but this is what it looks like <laughs> yeah this is weird it's getting noticeably darker and i'm feeling it's a lot cooler right now it's not cold but definitely cooler and this is cool we are getting close, guys. The shadows are weird. And here is something that I've noticed. Right across the street, the light had turned on the side of the wall. That's on one of those light sensors, so it's dark enough for that thing to turn on. And there you go. That's how much more we got. <laughs> and the sun's going to go bye-bye. It's just supposed to be complete darkness for over, just over two minutes for us right here. The closer you get up to Lake Erie, it's supposed to be darker, I think, a full three minutes. Uh, but the, I'll, I'll take this. I saw the traffic heading up to Lake Erie, and I'm sure there's a lot of uh, people just stuck on the side of the road now. It just got dark fast <laughs> and it, it's still not out all the way, but oh, I'm starting to see some really cool stuff. So right now, as this gets dark, which it has, you'll be able to see Venus and there's Venus right there and Jupiter is supposed to be able to be seen, but I'm not using a filter right now and you are seeing the total eclipse but you know here we are it's dusk <laughs> it looks like it's dark time looks like it's night time the light is on the owner's building the light is on just right over top of this tanker truck and Again, that's, that is Venus. We're supposed to be able to see Jupiter. It might be blocked out by the, by the clouds. And I'm using my glasses too and they don't work anymore. I can't see anything with my glasses. So I got my sunglasses off and we're just looking up at the, uh, looking up at the eclipse, guys. 
and you're seeing it live here from the wood yard of Ohio Woodburner. Try to get everything in here at once. The, <laughs> the Yappa and the Total Eclipse. Off in the background, I can hear the peepers. They're out now. The lights are on the the, uh, the neighbor's building here behind us. Now it's starting to get daylight again. <laughs> and it feels like uh, feels like daytime. Not, not quite, but we're getting there. I had to put my sunglasses back on. All right. Well, there you go, guys. I wanted to bring the total eclipse to you here from Northeast Ohio. We made some eclipse firewood with the Yappa and with the Easton made. So that was it. When um, it doesn't go totally black, that was the sun's corona that was shining around the moon. And it was just like that white dot up in the sky. Uh, that was really cool. And uh, this, it's when I looked at it with my glasses, it's still just a little sliver now on the other side of it. But man, it's brightened up a lot. And I noticed that the cars are going up and down the road again. So I hope you like that. I never seen a total eclipse and certainly not one from my wood yard here in Northeast Ohio. I hope you liked it. Okay, guys, something different for sure, huh? And I hope everyone has a great day.